All right, welcome back to Game 9 post-game press conference of the 2023 SEC Baseball Tournament. Joined by Texas A&M head coach Jim Schlossnagels. Aggies earned their second one-hit shutout of the tournament. Starting pitcher Justin Lampkin, season-high seven innings, a lot of hit. And third baseman Trevor Werner was three for four with an RBI triple. I'm going to start with an opening statement from Coach and then take questions for the student athletes first. Coach. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulate South Carolina on a great regular season and best wishes uh, in their postseason. Uh, and Coach Kingston, a uh, great friend of mine. So uh, we're excited, uh, re really proud of Justin. Uh, had, a, had a great feel that he was uh, going to be ready to go. When I walked down, I thought I was going to be the first guy at breakfast this morning, and he, was in, he beat me there. So I knew he was ready to pitch. And uh, he's a great strike thrower for us, has a great future we're building this program around guys like him. And, and of course, Trevor, who's really, uh, really stepped forward, not just as a great player, he's always been that, but as a leader on our team, both with his, his words and, and with, his, with how he plays. So it um, doesn't surprise me that he's driving in runs for us. All right, let's start with questions for the student athletes right here in the middle. Uh, Justin, just a broad, simple question. Uh, what's the feeling on the pitching staff right now? And, and I have to feel like that things are, are, are rolling pretty good right now. Yeah, I know uh, pitching staff's doing great right now. Um, start of this tournament, uh, Troy set the tone for us, and we just try to do as good as him or do better, and that's what we try to do uh, these games and go from there. One more in the middle. Uh, Trevor, do you guys feel like you're, you're peaking at the right time? How does, how does this success you've had the last few days here kind of compare to the, the, the way you guys were playing in the regular season? You know, you feel like you're headed in the right direction? Yeah. I mean, the goal of teams, especially this time of year, is to, you know, you want to be playing your best baseball, you know, going into the postseason and um, the end of the regular season. And I feel like that's where we're at right now with our pitching staff and um, offense. And we've played great defense all year. It just, you know, feels like things are finally coming together. Um, we've had our ups and downs this season, but, um, you know, we're reaching the high at the right time. This is for Justin. Uh, certainly looks like this is a pitcher's ballpark. Uh, could you talk about how, how it is pitching with the spacious uh, uh, dimensions out there? Yeah, the field plays really big. Um, something different we played um, all year. Um, but the alpha played great behind me. A few diving catches out there. Good props to them. They did a great job. And when I could fill up the zone and they catch anything that goes out there. All right in the middle. Trevor, that, that triple, uh, did, did you, what, what did you think off the bat? And did you think that the center fielder had a chance of making that play? No, I thought it was gone. Yeah, I thought it was out for sure. Um, you know, thought I had one out yesterday too. But we just came from Mississippi State and the ball's flying there. And then we come here and, you know, balls, you feel like you, you touch. And, you know, the guy, I thought the guy caught it at first but kept running. And, you know, he almost made a really great play. But, you know, just got a good pitch, put a good swing on it, and just let it go. And Justin, for you, was it as easy as it looked out there against the South Carolina lineup for you? They were definitely good hitters, giving props to that. But I just felt really confident in all three of my pitches and everything was working, filling up the zone, and the team made great plays behind me. Right in the middle. Justin, you've been coming on strong lately. Um, is there something you can point to specifically that you feel like maybe you turned a corner a little bit with? I think just being smarter, um, growing as a pitcher, watching games, pitching in games, um, learning from previous outings and just going from there. All right, if there are more questions for the student athletes, we'll excuse them now. Congratulations on your win today. Gig them. All right, questions for Coach? Uh, Coach, would you uh, care to comment on breaking the curse of the SEC Network in-game <laughs> interview? I blame most of that stuff on Tom Hart. Um, all things ESPN related. I'm kidding. He's a great friend of mine. Uh, yeah, I mean, those, that's a good time. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, part of the part of the allure of, of being in this conference is uh, is great. The great relationship between the conference and and, and the network. So, um, you know, you get to know those people. Uh, whether it be you know I've known Dave Neal for a long time and 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 everybody else and guys like Delucci. You know, I coached against so. Um, Todd Walker, of course. So, so yeah, it's just, it's fun. It's fun to banner back and forth, and uh, I am glad we, because when, when, as soon as Petrie swung the bat, I was like, if he if he hits a homer, when I'm standing here, I may quit. I may quit coaching at the moment. But 
and then Jace made the catch. So may, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Do not interview me when Cruz and uh, White are hitting. <laughs> I'd love to get your perspective on the SEC hosting situation with, you know, we had nine teams in contention coming in here. Certainly seven's the most we've ever had. Um, and then you look around the country, the Pac-12 may only get one, Big 12 may not get any if yeah. things fall right. You, from, you, from your background, you have a unique perspective. I'd love to get your thoughts. Yeah. Well, if the committee goes on just truly who's deserving and solely looks at that without, you know, conference bias or anything like that, then if a team is in this conference and they've, if, if they've deserved to host, Kentucky deserves to host. You know, Alabama certainly deserves to host. I mean, that's just, I mean, outside of maybe LSU, I mean, LSU and Florida, I know super scary and Arkansas plays great baseball, but Alabama is, is they have something really unique going, even though they lost the game last night. So um, I think if I was on the committee, I would look at each individual situation and not compare it relative to the, you know, the conference that it's in. You have to, you have to give the host sites or, or the bids to the teams that have, truly earn them, and, and that would be the case whether it was the SEC or, you know, when, if I was still in the Big 12, I would still feel the exact same way. You, you, play, you play through this league and, and you play a good non-conference schedule and your RPI, I mean, I don't, I don't know why else you would do, why you would do anything else. The days of regionals being regional, it used to be that way, that that's, those are gone and they should be gone. You give it to the teams that earn it. Up on the right. Yeah. A ton of credit to Justin, obviously, but South Carolina's really struggled offensively here the last few weeks. What do you see in them from a, a scouting standpoint that, that you feel comfortable in sharing that's made them yeah. maybe fall off a little bit? Well, I know, they, I mean, I know they're really banged up. I know, you know, Wimmer's out there. He's a heck of a player, and he's trying to play hurt for his team. Um, and I've been in those situations. In, in 2015, had a really good team at TCU. We went uh, to the conference tournament. We were two and out in the conference tournament. And uh, the first text message I got when I got back to the bus was from Augie Garrido. And he said, this is the best thing that has ever happened to your team. Go home, get rest, get ready for the regional. And we went to the College World Series. And so I don't know the depth of the injuries that they have. I know Messina, that's a, that's a big loss. But if they can get him back, Wimmer gets healthy. Uh, I don't know if are they, are they going to get any of the pitchers back. I, I, get one pitcher back. Okay, there you go. So, you know, sometimes just getting home and getting away from it and resting can be the very best thing. And I would certainly encourage the Gamecock fans to stay behind their team. And they have great coaching staff. They've had an awesome season. Every single team has, a, has its own story. And uh, we saw that in Ole Miss last year. Like I said, I, I experienced it at TCU in a conference tournament. Just go home, get rest, and get ready to play. Sure, there are a lot of factors that play into it, but is there something you can point to just with the way the, the pitching seems to be rounding into form at the right time of year? Uh, I, 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 I think it's unique to each, in, each individual pitcher. You know, I think Wansing maybe that cup pitching out of the bullpen at Mississippi State was his breakthrough moment. Uh, Lampkin is just – Lampkin and Sadeo, I think, are just guys who have – they've pitched enough. We've had to use them so much because of our situation that now they have some confidence and, and they're – they're not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone, uh, which is scary to do in this league. It's, it's, I get it. I get it. You know, some of the guys you're facing and the talent. But um, it starts with those guys, and then tomorrow's going to be real interesting. And Will Johnson has had two pretty good – or two, two of his last three outings have been really good since we moved him in the, into the rotation. Um, and, and this one will be one in which he didn't have to pitch out of the bullpen like a day and a half ahead of, ahead of that time. So if we can get a good one out of him tomorrow, regardless of who we play – um, then, I, you know, I like our chances. Detmer's, Detmer's still up and down, but those lefties are doing a great job. Are we got time for one more? Anyone? If not, thank you, Coach, for your time. Congratulations. Yeah.